everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to SevTech Ages. Now I am all set up with my armor and my weapons and some food and sleeping materials and atlas books and a raft. We are going on a little bit of a, a search and rescue. Maybe a rescue. I don't know. We're going on a little bit of a search. My God. Okay. No, no, no. Stop. <laughs> okay. We're going to start the episode. Oh, I can hold up my shield. Awesome. We're going to start the episode and immediately start losing the hatchet. That is not a good thing to do, Piggy. Where is the sun? Okay, son, you cooperate with me because I got a couple of comments that people gave me. We're going to run over here and see if we can get ourselves a horse. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to see if I can do two things at once. We can't chew bubble gum and, and uh, drive a car at the same time. Maybe we can chew bubble gum and ride a horse. <laughs> but I'm going to see... I'm going to see if I can somehow read uh, user comments or viewer comments, not user comments, viewer comments while we go over here to get this horse. And you know what? I've already realized it's not going to happen. I can't do it. I'm just not that coordinated. So we're just going to stop right here. We're kind of safe for a second. Um, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to spread out some of the, the comments, okay? Because we got a few things we're going to try and do here. So let's see. Hatter said I could cook cobble on a grill. So when we get back, you know what? <laughs> let's do this first let's get a horse let's try and get a horse we'll ride it back to base and then we'll start dealing with the comments because i'm going to read these comments and i'm going to want to try this stuff out now what kind of horse should we get you were horsing around jump strength one two three four five six seven eight and a half hearts you don't jump as high wait speed you got jump strength and speed what about you jump strength speed Huh. See if we can find a horse that's... Oh my gosh. Now you, buddy. Man, is there one that's... Uh, are you have any... No. We need to find one that's got like super awesome massive ability to just run like crazy. Wow, that one's a good one. What are you? <gasps> Ooh. This one might be the winner right here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, No. Yeah, oh, you're okay. So that one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and a half. And what were you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so you are going to be our new best friend. I'm not too jazzed about the the, uh, the coloring of this horse. I like I like that darker one a little bit better. But you know what, buddy? Doesn't matter. Come on, we're going to be friends. No, no, you come here. We're going to be friends, I said. <laughs> How long do you have to ride them before they decide to be your friend? Did you kick me off? Yes, you did. Come on, we got to hurry up before the sun goes down. There you go. He's happy. He loves me. He wants to be my friend now. Awesome. We got ourselves a horse. So is it squat and right click? There we go. That'll put a saddle on him. Come on, buddy. We have got ourselves a horse. You don't seem to be riding as fast as the heart said that you can go. Is this right? Can I eat and ride at the... Oh my gosh, yes. Food on the go. <laughs> nice. So let's go ahead and get this horse somewhere safe and sound over here. Can you go over the bushes? You did. Uh-oh. Can you jump that gap? You know what? I do not want to take a chance. No, 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 no. You get out of there. Oh no, he's going to run off. Let's do this real quick because I want to keep the horse. I don't want to lose the horse, of course. You've got my saddle, sir. So if anything, we need to keep you for the saddle. So you come in here. You be safe in here. I'm going to trust you, okay? <laughs> and i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to place some blocks right here because I don't trust you, even though I say I do. Bye-bye, right, right down into the, the plants. So where are my, you know what, nope. For some reason I'm losing my brain. All of a sudden I don't know what buttons to push to make anything happen. Where in the world? All right, you know what, come on Andesite, you're going to help us out. We'll figure this out in just a minute. Boop, boop, boop. There you go, now, now Mr. Horse can't run off. You just hang out there, buddy. We got some experiments to do. Okay. So, let's just go down the list. I wrote down a list of all the different people that commented in the last three videos. Now, today is a Friday, which means that Friday, or 
is a Thursday. So Thursday's episode actually came out. So there might be a few more comments. And what will be cool is if there are a few more comments, I can put them in the next video or so. I got to thinking about that. I'm like, you know what, Piggy? You're sitting here putting all these comments in one video. And then another two videos, I don't have any comments in them. So we might spread them out. I had thought about like dispersing them, but I don't know if it's going to work. So let's see here. Car Auto said, do not forget to bookmark home. So we had found out that you can use the Atlas. It doesn't make you shrug. But if you use the Atlas, what was it? No? Let's see here again. I got to... Why is it not... <laughs> was it right click? How in the world did we... I can't remember how to make the Atlas work now. There was a way to, to access it. Oh, no, no, I can't even remember now. I'm going to have to investigate that. I know I'm going to have at least one edit in this video. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go back. Is there a way to click on it? Right click on it? No. Shift? No. That just moves it. Control? No. It throws it on the ground. I bet it's like an F key, isn't it? F1? No. F2 is for pictures. F3 does that. 4 doesn't do anything I can tell. 5 does this. Six doesn't seem to do anything. Seven, no. Eight gives us the, the crazy camera move. Nine, F10. Okay, so I'm going to have to figure it out. <laughs> what a letdown. I tell you what. Oh, and F7 is showing me all the lit up areas. Oh, my gosh. And it's showing me chunk borders and everything. How do we turn all this off? That made the light go away. F9. Oh, my gosh. Now we're playing Tron. We're stuck inside the uh, the grid. There it goes. <laughs> Okay, so um, he said, don't forget to bookmark homes. So we're definitely going to do that so we can find our way back because we have to go out on an adventure anyway, so I definitely need to bookmark home. Um, an alternate to the Whopper Hopper is a sewer pipe, which we kind of messed with, I think, in the last episode, and he had not seen that yet in his comment, so that, that was something really cool. Throw something on top of a second-tier wooden hopper. I don't know why, but let's find out what happens. Let's see here. Actually, I need to do an experiment with this really quick before we do that. Um, you come here. Thank you. Come on. No, 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 sir. You stay right there. Oh, there's a second tier hopper right there. So we'll go and grab this for right now. Let's see here. We'll do that. So throw something on top of it. Whoa. It just sits there? Okay. What is that about? And if I right click on it, nothing happens. So it's, it, oh, it's, it doesn't have anywhere to send it. So I can see it just sitting there. Now, how do I get it back? <laughs> it's stuck. I have to break it, I bet. You come here. So we'll put this, no, we'll keep it for just a second because I'm going to have to do a little experiment with it. Um, press U when you're hovering over an item in any eye. So we've got this. Let's hit the letter U. Nothing happens. Let's get rid of leaf bed. Let's try something else. Let's find something that we were struggling a little bit with. What in the world did we use it for? I can't remember now. Oh my gosh. What is it? Okay, so crazy stuff. Wow, there's all kinds of crazy stuff in here I haven't even looked at yet. Whoa, what are these? Vases? So we could do a little decoration. A screw pump. A platform. Bloody wood. Okay. Leather belt. <laughs> oh, what are you? Raw eggs. Cooked eggs. Huh. All right, so let's do this. Let's press the letter U. What does that do? Cooked it. No, 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 no pork chops. Why do I have to see that with a pork chop? Come on now. <laughs> Ooh, crazy. Here's all these crazy little... Oh, my gosh. You have no idea. I'm about to lose my mind. I'm not going to do an episode shoot. Stage one shoots. Oh, my gosh. I, Piggy, you got to look through all this stuff, buddy, off camera. This is so much stuff here. I'm going to just insanely obsessed with all this building stuff now. Wow. Okay. I think what he was trying to say is if you hit the letter U, it shows you what you can use something for. Porcelain channel. Let's do that. Hit the letter U. Tells me what I can use it for. Porcelain faucet. Faucet. No, that doesn't do anything. Wow. Look at all. Just chisel. Oh, we can use chisel now? Creeping moss? Hammer. That's something. There we go. An engineer's hammer. 
hit the letter U. That doesn't do anything. So apparently hitting the letter U is supposed to tell me what I can use things for. An ale bucket, maybe? No. A wooden stake? Ooh, what's this book for? An almanac. That's not telling me jack squat. A chili pepper? Is it red hot? Okay, so U is working, but it's kind of not. So I'll have to experiment a little bit with that, but I think that's supposed to tell me how different things work or what I can use them for instead of just recipes for stuff. It's also saying you could feed the hopper into the back of a grinder instead of on top of it. I don't know where I put the grinder now. It's like it disappeared. Did I toss it in here? Well, there it is. So let's let's try this. I know it has to be up in the air. Invalid area. Come on, you. Let's break. We're doing experiments here, and you're in the way. How can we experiment when you're in the way? Okay, so that would work. And let's... Uh, there we go. Squat and right-click. Okay, that... Oh, nice. That aims in there. And then... What is something that we could grind? Let's just toss something in there and see what happens. Boop. Nope. <laughs> Can we grind up beetroot seeds? Nope. What can we grind? Is there anything we're allowed to grind? Uh, bones. We can grind bones, can't we? So I know I've got some bones over here somewhere. I thought I had bone fragments or something like that. There's that crazy weird meat we're supposed to hold on to because we're going to need it for something. Sharp bones. I know I've got bones on my body, but I can't use I need those. I'm using those right now. So we can't place those in there. Salt. No. Okay, so th this is what the this is what the video looks like when Piggy doesn't stop and figure things out before he hits record. <laughs> Let's check the uh, oak. So the sun is almost about to come up. That's how much time we've wasted doing all this. There we go. There's a bone. So we'll throw that in there and see if that'll accept it. Nice. Okay, cool. So we could try and do a setup where uh, the hoppers point into the back and maybe that will work and it's not saying that it's seeing it as a as an invalid area so that setup might work now i'm gonna i'm gonna need this hopper again because we're gonna do another test here in just a second um he said parrots are in savannas make sure to take a bunch of seeds with you bookmark above ground mineral deposits because i'm gonna need that those are gonna be important and number pad two allows you to switch often on liquids in any eye let's see here now there are a bunch of other comments so just hang on i'm gonna to get to everybody's um number pad two switches off and on i've got number lock off now that doesn't seem to be doing anything so i'm not quite certain what that means but i'll have to research that to figure that one out um he said a furnace is really expensive to run the forever fire kiln and a grill combo is cheaper and easier to automate with a dung pipe and the hopper mark II combo so i'll have to investigate with that as well now hatter said you can cook cobble on a grill so let that's what i was grabbing that for let's see are you gonna cook let's see what happens i don't know if they're telling me to experiment with it or that it can actually work see i figured the grill was for cooking stuff like if you're gonna eat it it worked awesome so i could actually put like multiple items here and cook it where here I can only cook one at a time. So that's a really cool idea. And he also said that the sparkles from the Zafkiel waltz that we did that was all over the ground, it was um it acts like bone meal. Now if you notice something, what does that look like? That totem base, it looks a little different, does it? Ooh, let's check over here. Oh, it worked. Awesome. So I went ahead and updated um this mod pack, and sure enough, now they show the models of the different creatures. That is so cool. I love that. Now, Holy Lover said to try and strip bark from Darklands Oak Wood. So let's give that a go. I don't know what I'll do with it yet, if anything. But we'll do an experiment. Why not? Let's see what happens here. Let's get an empty hand so we can grab some of the wood. There you go. Can we strip the bark off of this? What in the world? Oh, I can make a chopping block out of it. Okay. And I think it was the flint work blade was supposed to let me strip the bark off stuff, right? Let's see here. Where is some wood? 
Is there any in here? Do I have any with me? No. Darn. Um. Oh, I've got an axe. So let's. Oh, and this is all cedar, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I think that was the right tool. If it's not, you you're all definitely gonna let me know. I, I know that much. There we go. But I think that was the right tool. And for some reason, it didn't want to strip the bark off of it. Off of it. So maybe we can't do that with that. That's gonna be my guess. Julia five eight one six one had an absolutely brilliant idea. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Now, I'm not going to do it yet because I'm going to have to collect some more. I want to leave this little barrier right here. But what I was having trouble with was sleeping. Okay, I was trying to sleep in the, the teepee, but monsters were bunching up right here. And it said monsters are too close. So she said, why don't you put a bunch of those berry bushes right in here? And then bad guys can't get close to the teepee and you can sleep. I thought that was a brilliant idea. So we're going to have to do that and get that kind of little thing set up. She also said the Zafkill waltz makes hemp and other plants grow faster. Um, kind of like what Kurt Otto said with it being like bone meal. And she also said it made my buffaloes grow up quick, which I didn't notice. But that's awesome because now we can uh, we could breed buffalo. Hello, horse. Good. You're sticking around. Awesome. We could breed some buffalo and then do a Zafkill waltz probably right here and just make them grow up and, and not have to wait for them to to grow up so that would be really cool she also said eagles can be found in savannas as well as jungles and to use a nature's compass so let's see here can we even craft that yet <clears throat> Ooh, a nature's compass accepts any tree sapling accepts any wood and a piece of flaked bone Ooh, we're, let's make this <clears throat> let's see here I've got a lot of Darklands oak. Is it oak? Darklands wood? Let's see here. Let's use olive because I do have a lot of olive. We're not going to use all of it. Oh, but I'm ching. <laughs> and let's see here. I Now, um, Magpie Tear said he was going to miss seeing me use these. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Just, just for old time's sake, even though it hasn't been that long ago. I'll go ahead and do this just for him, just so he can see me use the crafting rock. How's that serve for nostalgia? <laughs> and I need, what was it? Flaked bone? Flaked bone. And where did I put the bone? There we go. We've got a piece right there. So let's go ahead and just, there we go. Piece of flaked bone. Awesome. Place that there. Trusty, I know I told you you could rest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So apparently it looks like all of these things have been disabled. I had the feeling that there were going to be certain recipes that I was going to have to make in those uh, those benches, but maybe not. Maybe we're not allowed to, to use those anymore. So let's just do this. What am I missing? Accepts any tree sapling. Okay, here we go again with a no, you're not allowed because you don't have the tree saplings. Let's just do this and see if it'll work. Because sometimes it says that it will, and sometimes it says that it won't. That's not going to work. So let's see here. Let's let's check another um, another sapling. What do we have a lot of? I've got a lot of olive saplings, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and put those back. Let's do that. Should have put a crafting bench over here. <laughs> We're going to run back and forth just to try and get that to work. Okay, that, that, there we go. That was weird. It showed that helmet for a second. Nature's compass. Now let's see. Dude, where's my biome? I got an advancement. What? Where would... Okay, let's check advancements. That's there? I never saw that show up. This is on age one. How, how in the world? You know what? You know what happened? I did an update, and I bet that was sitting there in the update because I don't remember that being there before. Oh, and there's a saddle. Look at that. We'll get to that in just a minute. So let's see here. Let's go back to right here. You'll need to seek out a darkland biome to continue your journey. Use the nature's compass. Yeah, gee, thanks. <laughs> we already found that. Okay, so let's see here. How, how do we use this? Let's see if the letter U will help us out in that. Nope, that's not going to work. And... um. Let's see. She had kind of explained how to use it. Right click on it. Select a biome. 
search info and sort by name, sort by base height, height variation, temperature. Okay. Darklands, sort by rainfall, top block, filler block, sort by name. So we'll click on this. It, it, how am I going to... It's only showing me one, two, three, four, five info. Oh, info about that biome search. That won't work. Select biome doesn't work. Hmm. That's really odd. It's not letting me. I want to search for Savannah. I want to search for Savannah. That's what I want to do. And for some, look at that. No matter how much I click, it's showing me all, all dark lands. Huh. I wonder if now that I've got this updated, it wants me to go to a Darklands first, and then that causes something to happen and unlocks more biomes. Or maybe I have to be in a biome for it to understand how to unlock more. I don't know. We'll have to experiment with that and figure out. This is different, too. Now my backpack looks like this. So I'm not quite certain what that's about, but we'll go with it for now. Um, Let's see here. Um, what did it do? <laughs> I saw it in there and it's gone. Okay, Ian Lee said you crafted the saddle, which is correct. We saw it in the advancements. That's how I made the saddle. I could not for the life of me remember where the saddle came from because we crafted it. And then Mustang Girl said, don't break the coal. You'll need those samples so you'll know where to dig. She said that, and I think Kurt Otto said that as well. So that, that is everybody's uh, comments and stuff. My gosh, that took half an episode to get through that. Like I said, we may have to think of something a little different here so that I'm not using up so much episode on just comments and maybe spread them out. Maybe what I need to do, I, I, you guys tell me in the comments, <laughs> speaking of comments, what you think about this. Maybe what I need to do is kind of uh, do a little off-camera research before I start an episode and comments that pertain to what I'm going to do that episode or that inspire me to do something that episode, we go ahead and use those comments and try to save other comments for other episodes. How does that sound? That's what I'm thinking. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to see if we can find ourselves a savanna biome. Okay. Now the Darklands biome is north. And if I remember correctly, Darklands is in a colder climate. Savannah would seem like it's in a warmer climate because savanna biomes and... I thought you were sneaking up. A savanna biome and a desert biome, as far as I'm aware of, are the only two biomes that you won't see rain falling because they're considered dry. So hot zones. So if north is cold, south must be warm. So if we were to go south, we might find a savanna biome. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out how to use this atlas off camera. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to use the compass off camera. I'm going to gather up some more seeds. And I'm going to take Mr. Horse here. And we're going to ride ourselves that way, which, let's see, the sun rises in the east, sets in the west, that's north. So we're going to go in a southerly direction, and we're going to see if we can find ourselves a savanna. So hopefully, I'm going to make this edit, and I will be meeting you at a savanna. All right, everybody, we're out and about just gallivanting around on our new horse. And I saw this. It looks like a river. And the water's flowing. And the water's flowing downhill. That is so cool. I've always wanted to see this in Minecraft. Where you have like naturally spawning rivers with different elevations and the water flows and stuff. That is so, so cool. Well, stay away from the lava pit. Oh my gosh, here's some of these bushes we need to get. You horse, just stick around. Nope. Yeah, I'm just going to break everything. This is not near the chateau, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> take some of these bushes back with horse you go straight for the lava look at that you get over here so i'm riding in a southerly direction now i check the atlas if you right click on the atlas that's what brings it up now zoom out and right here we've got a little bookmark for the chateau now i have found what looks like a different biome right in here can i see what kind of biome i'm in right now it doesn't appear to be showing up but this definitely looks different because the grass looks different, doesn't it? It's like a different color. Oh, don't go in there, horse. We don't need you to get hurt. Uh-oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, I should have had my shovel on my hot bar. Let's see. Is this going to let us navigate? Oh, he can't even fit through there. You've been eating too much, horse. You can't fit through there. And I should have... Great. Okay, so let's see here. There we go. Put... Nope. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so look. Right over there, I can see a savanna. I know it's there. there. Oh, we got the horse to jump. Awesome. So let's go through here. Oh, these are some different looking trees. Or maybe they are the same. It's just the biome. Oh, that's different. I'll have to come back and grab that sapling. I made sure to bring uh, an axe and my backpack and some other stuff with me just in case. But I thought that was cool. That's how to use the atlas. I knew everybody was going to be like banging their head against the wall going, Piggy, really? Uh-oh. Oh, no, Mr. Horse. How are we supposed to get you over there? You can't go through water. And everything's locking up again. There we go. Might be because we're... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Might be because we're rendering... Um, or causing new um, chunks to load or something like that. So let's see if we can get down this hill safely. We can probably navigate navigate around the side, and I'll come back for... Oh, gosh. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking? Let's just do this. Let's be safe. Horse, we need to make a little safe spot for you, okay? You just trust me. It says for your own good. You don't even know. You can't be trusted. You'll get in there. <laughs> Will he fit? There we go. And let us use our atlas. Now, I still can't get this uh, little biome compass thingy to let me do what I want, but we're going to do that, and let's add a marker. We'll add a marker right here where we're at, and we'll call it the horse. <laughs> so we know to come back right here for the horse. There we go. And you know what? Since we're right here, we got a little bit of daylight left. What unfamiliar item. Integrated Dynamics. That is a pretty looking color of wood. It's got like a blue color to it. It says unfamiliar item, but I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and collect it, and then I'll hold the stuff standing over one of those hoppers, and the hopper will catch it and put it in a chest. So even though I'm not allowed to hold the items because they're unfamiliar, I can still store them for later use. I wonder if I can store them in my, uh, my little backpack. And there's like these weird looking gems or something on there. You see that? Come on. I want to see if I can get a sapling to drop out of this. Because one, I have a feeling eventually I'm going to need this stuff. Everybody's going to tell me, P Piggy, you should be planting that. Oh, they got berries and stuff on them? But two, I really like the color. I might be able to use that for something really nice to build with. It's all unfamiliar items. Can we put it in our backpack at least? We can. Awesome. Okay, so let's do that, and we'll, we'll open up some inventory space, and we're just going to run over here. So we found ourselves a savanna, which is awesome. So I'm going to check and see, can we find some parrots? Ooh! Oh my gosh, you go adventuring, and you find all kinds of crazy stuff. So, is it safe to jump? It is now. <laughs> oh my gosh, we hit the ground? So does this does this mod pack not work the same as vanilla? Come on, let's eat some protein. I know we can use a little bit of protein. Ooh, there's a savanna right here. So this will this will work. What is this? That's a different looking block. Unfamiliar. It's a cracked chisel block. Uh oh. Did we find some crazy temple or something? Twilight forest. Okay. Now I've never. Did I just fall down a hole? I sure did. I've never really played Twilight Forest. I've done a little bit of Twilight Forest, uh, like tried to record a series doing Twilight Forest. Ooh, there's a parrot. Awesome. And I just never actually uh, released the series. Come here, you. Can we tame you? Will you be friendly? This is actually the first time I've ever messed with parrots in Minecraft. And we're going to do that in modded. You're just flying away. Come on, you. Do you like seeds? How in the world do you... There we go. <gasps> He's my friend. Now I'm thinking I need two of these. Will you come over here and jump on my shoulder? Is that how that works? Come on. Aren't they supposed to be like your little friends and they hang out with you? Can I pick him up? Nobody sits. Will he follow me? Oh, it's going to start getting dark. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Oh, there's your pesky chicken. <laughs> Dude, where's my bomb? I'm trying to sleep. Uh-huh, and sleeping gives us gives us those little effects. So does the parrot... Oh, cool, he follows me. Now, I'm thinking I need to get one more parrot because I'm going to need to be able to breed eagles just in case uh, killing an eagle, it doesn't drop stuff that I need. 
we'll have more eagles. Or or maybe it's that we have to breed some parrots and then do you keep following me? I hope so. And then we can turn those into eagles, so that would be nice. But I still can't figure out how to use a compass. Um, in between clips, aloe vera, what do you do? Is it tasty? I don't know, Precious. Let's take some aloe vera with us. Why not? There's all kinds of crazy stuff in this mod pack. Where you at, Parrot? Is he on my shoulder? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Parrot. We got to find one more of your buddies so we can take him home with us. But anyway, um, a, a viewer, now I, did, I just briefly saw it. I'm going to see if I can address it for next video. It's a video, it's a comment that just came out on today's video. So I'm going to save it for next video. But the viewer had commented, did you ever do the little update that suppose they had suggested? Oh, what is this? Is it salt flat? Oh, nice. There's salt over here. And that's weird. An azurite sample. Okay. So everybody said, don't break these things. They're important, and there's some parrots. Awesome. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to get our atlas. We're going to go ahead and bookmark. Where are we? We're right there. As you're right and salt. And we will... I don't know what that symbol means. We're just going to... Is there different symbols I can choose from? Nice. Let's do this. Let's do that. That'll tell us there's something really cool there. Um... But I'm going to try off camera this suggestion that they, they had. It might help. Okay. It might help with the um, the lag that we're getting from the game. So that'll be cool. So we've got a colorful parrot. Oh my gosh, look at all these. That is so cool. There's just a ton of them. Let's see. Can we... Will you, you're a friend already? That was easy. Let's Let's see how many friends we can get with these seeds. That didn't work. That didn't work. Come on, just one more. You want to be my friend? I've got seeds. Don't fly away. Okay, cool. So we got three parrot pets. Awesome. So now we just got to get back up there to where the horse is. <laughs> and real quick, quick. I'm not click, but quick. We just got to get right back up here to the chateau. So that's awesome. So I'm going to get these birds. I'm going to get these parrots back to the chateau and get the horse safe, and then we're actually going to do the Age Zero boss battle. That is awesome. So I am going to try and see if I can do this without falling off the side of a cliff, <laughs> and I will meet you back at the Chateau. All right, everybody, we are back at the Chateau, and I went ahead and did a little bit of work after I got back. I decided, you know what, instead of trying to tear things apart and set up the grinder or the chopper or the press whenever I need it, just make three stations. We'll make three stations and we can move the pig around whenever we need to. Now, I was swapping out this uh, this chest down here and I accidentally broke a, a block so it's dirt. So I'm trying to get the grass to spread so we can turn this back into path blocks. That way everything can be safe. Now... Um, I can't remember who told me, but they said if we ride a horse, we're, we're supposed to be able to back up. Let me swap to F5 mode. We're supposed to be able to back up and somehow hook up to the cart. But it doesn't seem to be working. For some reason, the horse is not hooking up. Now, I don't know if there's a button that I'm not pressing or something like this, but watch this. We'll hop off. It says your steed will wait for you. So I'm wondering... Does that mean like the horse is going to stay in a certain vicinity or area? So far he hasn't wandered off, which is great. But that's what I've got going on so far. We've just got, I've got this little spot right here. I'm thinking about maybe putting a horse uh, shed or something like that. And I'm still going to stick with the chateau for now because I don't feel like in all of these advancements that have really run into anything that is advancing us to the point where we're kind of outgrowing the chateau. Now, I've also had some ideas about using um, the, the aqueducts and stuff. I'll show you what I got going on out here. I can't remember if this was at the end of last episode or not. I've slept since then, so I can't remember. But I was experimenting with the aqueducts, and I figured out that you can, you can pull a water source, and you can extend it. As, as long as you've got an aqueduct, it'll extend. I tried it at a length of 1, 2, and 3, and wherever... 
there was an aqueduct, it extended out the water flow. So what I could do is I could use aqueducts to pipe water into the base. We could take it over here to the chateau and I could possibly, let's see, what, what level is this? Oh, we can't do, um, I'd have to build a plumb bob to show me what my level, th my, my Y level is, right? So let's see here, the ground that we're standing on right now, counting that block, so one, two, the third block down would be water. So that would be the highest we could go. It could go lower than that because water will flow downhill. It just won't go uphill. So one, uh-huh, see, I told you there's a hidden trumpeteer. <laughs> So one, two, three. So that block right there. So is it over? Is he over here? Okay. Oh, this is the old way that I used to get down here. So he's probably behind the walls somewhere. But somewhere in this room right here, we could pipe water in here and I could set up a little underground farm. We could grow food, whatever else that might need to need water that we could grow. I could grow it right there in that little room. I don't have to worry about scooping up water sources. So that would be pretty cool. But check this out. I put all the, I, I killed the buffalo that were right here to clear out the pen. And I went in and put these buffalo right here. Look what we got. There's a, there's a feather. Why is there a feather? Do chickens drop feathers every once in a while? I don't know. But we got parrots and I was trying to breed parrots. I kept feeding them seeds and nothing would happen. And I went and looked on, on uh, the wiki and guess what? You can't tame parrots. I mean, you can't breed parrots. You can tame them, but you can't breed them. So the parrots are what the parrots are. We're going to go ahead and see if we can do this little eagle dance thing. Totempedia. I was checking out different stuff on here. Let's see. What is the totem ceremonies? That's what we're looking for. So the eagle dance. Keep going. We need the rattle and the wind chime is going to get us the, uh, the turn the parrots something other than what they are right now so let's go ahead and get our little jingle skirt on so we're good to go with that and just to make sure because for some reason i seem to have a little trouble with, with so we're going to do squat rattle then we're going to go squat chime and then we should be good to go so let me get an empty hand here go and get the book out of my hand so we're going to do squat rattle squat chime there's the eagle dance ready to go let's go ahead and get that there we go oh fill up eagle dance we're gonna get us some eagles now i'm wondering if um the eagles are going what they're gonna look like what do they do are they gonna look cool like maybe we can build a nest or something for them because i get the feeling we're not gonna uh-oh come on <laughs> no 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 come on you can do it piggy you can do it no 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 <laughs> What happened? What happened, buddy? You had this. All right. Let's not talk and chew bubblegum at the same time, shall we? So, that? No, not the serenade for Syrinx. What is that? Let While it's playing out, let's look and see what that was. Back up. Serenade for Syrinx. It's a way to make the flute better. And how do you start it? A flute and a rattle. I must have accidentally played a flute and then swapped to a rattle way too soon. So let's do this. Empty hand. Go ahead and run out. Because we've already got a flute infused, so we're good to go. So rattle. That. Get that. And dance around like a mad, mad pig. It's a mad, mad world, I tell you. <laughs> It'd be nice if the chimes started playing a little bit. They could help us. Help us. Help us, chimes. I want to see the eagles. I hope they don't fly away. That's what I'm worried about. Do they... Why is it... Does it look like it's speeding up? Come on now. You chimes, you're supposed to be working with me here. So let's do this. We'll just play the drum once. Just in case I played the flute. I don't need that flute to accidentally start why is it i don't understand why it's so difficult all of a sudden no see okay there was something else in the book totempedia where are you there was something else now some of the stuff in this book looks a little different i think it got updated with the update that i did 
not that. There was like a staff or something. Totemic staff can be used to gather block information, but you can use it by clicking the totem base and it will cancel the musical ceremony. So I might need to make one of these jungle leaves and some sticks. I think I've got those. No resemblance to wrenches. Okay, whatever. So let's see here. That appears to have run out. So the chimes are playing. So that, no. Maybe we need, okay, there they go. So that, that, get the flute. No, come on, we're wasting so much time here. Up, it, it, it. Maybe it has to do with that little cooldown period or whatever that might be messing with us. I might need to make another drum. I hope not, because we're burning up episode, and I wanted to do it where, like, I could get the eagle going, and I wanted to show... If we can't get this... Come on. there. Play play the flute, Piggy. Play a flute. Almost! Oh, almost. You guys. <laughs> I think the problem was that I wasn't letting the flute play enough, so let's try it one more time. That... Nope. You stop playing that funky music, Piggy. So let's see here. Now we're going to take a gamble. Is it going to start a ceremony? There we go. Put that there. And I'm going to do this. I'm passing by the drum. So we're getting all of the instruments playing. Play the drum. There you go. Because <laughs> I really want to, to do this on camera. I want there to be eagles. Now... Watch the timer and tell me, does it look like the timer is speeding up right there at the end, or is it just me? Am I being a paranoid pig? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Did it work? <sighs> Frustration. Come on, Piggy, you got this. That, that, that. Okay, I'm just gonna focus. I'm not gonna talk. Even though I'm talking right now. You know what? How about this? Look to the side. <laughs> Come on, focus, baby. You got this. Just just stay focused. Come on. Play like they taught you in school. Oh, but why did it stop right at the end? It doesn't make sense. I wonder if there's something weird going on, like depending on what kind of a, a thing you're playing, that it does something let's go ahead and sleep oh well so i'm going to try and see if i can get these guys to turn into eagles i'm going to go ahead and show you this other thing real quick did i grab my tool i got my tool okay so we're going to run over here we know that we're going to be able to get eagles because we've got parrots and so i went ahead and decided we're going to prep the uh the arena okay so since we can't get the 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 parrots to cooperate right now i'm going to show you this so, because we're running out of episode time, so I've set this up where I can do the chimes. Because we're gonna have to do the the uh, ceremony to call uh, Baycock, and so I'm gonna need to set up instruments and drums and all that kind of stuff. Why is that? Show? Oh, because my dress is giving off jingles. Okay, so we're gonna right click and squat, and I think it was Wolf is what I'm looking for. Okay, now let's double check the book, not the staff. Um, back up, Totemic. Totems and effects, totem effects. So wolf gives you strength. Now it says that you can make this six meters high, and if I'm not mistaken, one block is considered two meters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks high. And also we can stack effects. So if I whittle a wolf, let's see, we're getting strength, but if I whittle another wolf, watch this. Oh, it's supposed to work. We're supposed to get strength too. Is that not going to work? Maybe you have to do like that. There it goes. Strength too. So that gives us strength. Can we whittle another wolf? How many wolves can we whittle? Who knew that a pig would be messing around with wolves, right? You just want to attack you and bite your face off. Strength three. There we go. So that's going to make us super strong. Now let's see what else is there. We don't need to we don't need to breathe underwater. We don't need to climb. I don't feel like I need a jump boost. What else is there? No, back up effects. That's what we want to do. Don't need to do fall damage. Don't need fire resistance, I don't think. 
makes you mine faster. Gives you resistance to damage. I'm thinking cow is probably what we need to do. I don't really need a speed boost because it's going to be a battle where it says he uses a bow and arrow. So I need to be strong to hurt him and I need to have resistance, but it slows me down. So I'm not too worried about being slowed down, I don't think. So let's go ahead and make the last one a cow. Where is it? Pig, ocelot, horse, enderman, cow. There we go. Hey, cow. Can we reach? There we go. Now, what does this look like? Oh, I was facing that way, so it made... Oh, man. Can I change it? Once it's once it's whittled? Um, Where'd I put those blocks? Okay, I did bring them. I, I was pretty sure I brought, brought some blocks to stack with. Because I'd like them all to be facing the same way. Is one okay? So apparently, once it's carved, it's carved. So it's going to be what it's going to be. But let's check. So we've got strength three. Why is the other one not working? Why is the cow not working? You look silly, is what you do. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe it is not counting that. Maybe I can only go five. Five high. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. That's just really odd. So I'll have to experiment with that and figure that out. What we might have to do is take and put totems here and here. Maybe something like that so that we can get strength and we can get resistance. So you guys leave me... Uh, well, actually, I don't think I'll get a chance to read them before I re record the next session if you've guys if you guys have any suggestions or anything go ahead because i know we're still going to use totems for other stuff because we got that totem bag so we can come over and get powers and i don't see us getting beacons anytime soon but yeah this is oh so we've got the arena set up i've got the pesky pesky parrots that i've got to get transformed into eagles so probably what we're going to do next episode is i am going to record myself trying to get these parrots transformed and then i will play oh look Hatters gave us a, a photo bomb. <laughs> I'm uploading a video right now, so that's why I had to have my my internet browser open. So there you go, Hatters. You get yourself a nice little shout out on the screen. <laughs> oh, that was cool. But I'm uh, yeah, I'm gonna make it where we can see them them change. So don't you worry. We'll do some editing magic and we'll make that happen in the next episode. Unless some unforeseen event happens, we should be fighting Baycock, and we should be able to finish this advancement and i don't see any more so that's awesome and these these look very different from these i don't know what that means but i noticed that as well and then we'll go ahead and start getting on with these advancements as well but if you enjoyed this episode please click that like button like button don't forget to subscribe if you're not already if you want to leave comments down below i will try to address every single one i can on the videos as they come out thank you all so much for watching i'm having a lot of fun with this and i can't wait to play some more sev tech with you guys so i will get ready for next episode to fight an epic bottle bo uh, uh, an epic bottle okay piggy slow down an epic boss battle. <laughs> I'll get ready to fight my epic boss battle and I will see y'all in the next episode. <laughs>